or fans return to Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's not good. It, it doesn't look good. The OGL 1.0a is saved. So, what happens next? Tabletop RPG fans won a surprising victory when Wizards of the Coast announced that they would not pursue the deauthorization of the current OGL. And they actually published the full system reference document that's basically the basic rules for 5th edition under a Creative Commons license, thus making those rules free for anyone, publishers or fans, to use. It was clearly an olive branch meant to end a tumultuous month in which Dungeons & Dragons ironclad market dominance seemed to be on the verge of implosion. Now, one key part of 5th edition success is that many publishers, not just Wizards of the Coast, makes rulebooks and material for 5th edition. Most publishers who previously supported 5e with their books announced plans to create their own systems or switch to a new game. And it looks like many of those publishers are going to be sticking to their guns. MCDM is continuing work on their new fantasy tabletop RPG, Kobold Press is continuing work on Project Black Flag, and Cubicle 7 announced on Friday that it too was working on a brand new system as well. However, both Project Black Flag and Cubicle 7's system will be compatible with 5e, and Cobalt Press has also said that its goal was to keep 5e products vibrant through the use of Project Black Flag. Honestly, Project Black Flag sounds a little bit like an expansion of 5e, similar to what N Publishing does with its level up system. So will we really be seeing a splintering away from 5e, or will publishers continue to support the current Dungeons & Dragons system? Honestly, the answer is that we're probably going to see a bit of both. Like it or not, 5e is a moneymaker for many publishers. There's a reason that even Paizo adapted some of its popular Pathfinder adventures for 5e. Folks know 5e, and they're more likely to buy 5e products than non-5e products. However, I think that many publishers have learned a lesson with this recent OGL debacle. Even if 5e is safe, it's good for publishers to have another system that they control and have ownership of, just in case Dungeons & Dragons becomes a toxic brand or somehow fades. As for the fans, honestly, it's too early to say whether the bridges can be rebuilt between Wizards of the Coast and the fans. There are a lot of people and content creators who seem to be happy to put this OGL mess behind them and go back to enjoying the game that they've loved for years. But, there are also plenty of folks who are remaining true to their promise to try new games and to not support Hasbro or this new edition of D&D, which is called 1D&D. Now, Friday was a first step for Wizards, but it's clear that they will have a lot of work to do to regain the trust of the community. Keep in mind that Wizards was already backing off from its community engagement before the OGL debacle. It's clear that they need to go back to being part of the community and supporting the community rather than looking at the D&D fanbase as consumers who need to be parted from their money. Now, it'll be interesting to see how Wizards approaches both D&D Beyond, which has become a mouthpiece for D&D during this whole OGL nonsense, and is supposed to be a big part of their plans moving forward, and the new edition of one D&D. Can Wizards really go back to just playtesting 1D&D and prepping for the future, or will it need to do some work to rebuild its fan base, or more importantly, its subscriber base? Can 1D&D still be the best version of D&D it can be if fans aren't providing input like they did during the first few playtests because they're either not supporting Dungeons & Dragons or because they associate 1D&D with this whole OGL mess? Well, we need to see D&D make more of an effort, whether that's additional olive branches, like, I don't know, free D&D Beyond content and subscriptions. Or maybe they'll need to promise that one D&D will also have its mechanics released under the same Creative Commons license to get folks to return. Honestly, I, I don't know, but it'll be really interesting to see what D&D does next. So, are you going to go back to D&D? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.